Chapter 8. Riverside Institute. In the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the latter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. A book covered in human skin lied inside, irresistibly attracted the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Really, is that what just happened? <clears throat> oh. In the Riverside Institute. This is where I just was uh, not long ago, but perhaps not in the basement the way that I had been. Hmm. I'll have to see where we end up. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Very well. I'll examine him. Examine the dying patient. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Ew. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. Ew. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Yes, I am barely the state of his limb. It's worrisome. He's severely dehydrated. There's something in his belly. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. <laughs> I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. 
But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Colden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Symptoms are worrisome. I've never seen anything like this. You're turning him into a monster. Um... Let's just go for it. I've seen suction cups on his fingers, his falling body temperature, his dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Mm. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? In person, no one mentioned crimes. For now, stay out of this. Hidden files. Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Hmm. I don't know if I do. Oh. Well, get into Fuller's office. Let's see what I can get from here. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. If that's what you mean by heavy side effects, then yes, I suppose it does. Mutations, suction cups on fingers. My goodness. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. At least I can move around freely here. Oh, what is this? This place draws you in and never lets you go.
security unit authorized personnel only. Hmm. Men's bathroom. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. So either that means it's down there and Everybody I can't get says there. It. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. You're not talking about me, are you? No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Hey, come back here. Dr. Colden? How about you? All right, now I guess she's not going to come over here and talk to me. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Elizabeth? Are you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Hmm. Hydrotherapy. No saunas steaming also to restrain patients these boards keep them in the bathtubs sometimes in freezing water don't ask me how I know these things <laughs> My chest! Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. You're gonna be all right, buddy. She's a smarty. Woman caring for a child. At least so it seems. A patient, at the very least. Common to have a mural of some kind in that end of a fireplace there. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Oui. Sounds terrible. Ah, a whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Hmm. 
is this? Mrs. Sanders? Did she just close her eyes? Or were they not even open to begin with? Why is she Why here? did nobody tell me about her admission? Irene Sanders medical file. The file describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute, as well as the treatments administered to her. Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest that she needs. Oh dear. Probably here to be silenced. No one else to talk about her husband's death. No one else who cares enough. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. I guess he does some things good. Just enough to cover up whatever else he's working on, perhaps. Or maybe she won't necessarily make it. What is the boiler room key doing here? Hmm. Can I? The key speaking? to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Hmm. I guess I can't take it. Or I shouldn't anyway. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Hmm. Another, hey? I guess everyone does need sleeping pills in this town. Hmm. A couple empty beds. I suppose that's a good thing. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? <laughs> so take care of this man. Yeah, what do you expect? Something happens, you take care of it. Mild neglect, not uncommon in certain medical facilities of the time, anyway. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. Mm. <clears throat> I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Good. Kitchen, eh? Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Is that a chili or something? 
I'm gonna assume it tastes good. Oh, what is this? Just a bottle. I thought it was a clue. Anything to say? Watch out for the water, Doctor. Medicine and Secret Sciences. This very interesting book, aimed at a wide public, demonstrates how non-recognized sciences have influenced modern medicine. Magnetism, grandmother's secrets, Chinese acupuncture, hypnosis, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have contributed to a certain extent to the enrichment of medicine at the beginning of this century. I didn't get any skill from that, eh? Apparently, since I'm not in my own body right now. Oh, hello. Uh, what are you doing in here? Dr. Colden? Mm, okay, just finding things, I suppose. I've looked in the kitchen. We just came from Block B. The Hawkins Wing. How appropriate. Generous donor and unfailing support. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... I can see an exit there. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. What's wrong with you? Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Hmm. Hello there. What are you doing here? Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? We already talked about that. I'll prescribe you something. You're a bad liar. Why didn't you come to me instead? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake, every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. Mm. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be... Related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Hmm. At least we know he's on our side. Hey. Dr. Colden. Yes. Riverside Institute founded by C. Hawkins, T. Fuller, J. Fitzroy, 1851. If I knew my way around this place a little better, then I could go directly to his office, but I think searching around a bit is actually worth doing. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Hmm. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. But the key is in the other room in that drawer. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. I'll be going. 
thought I was going to tell her to leave. Well, maybe she was a second ago. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? The file is strangely incomplete, and the detail on treatment is not given. It does not respect standard practice. <sighs> Nothing to see. Personal record in use only. Uh, October 1924. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Please, the fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. Sorry. Surgical ward. Nothing to say, huh? You either. How about you? Salmon fishing. Thomas Fuller. Oh. I guess that's his office. Let's check out the surgical ward first. Oh, the operating room is never accessible after an operation. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. A boiler room. Uh, let me try this first. Oh, the door is open. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Oh. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. Yeah. That Thanks. won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Ugh. This is the one no one likes. <laughs> Talk to I you have please. little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. <laughs> what a jerk. Distract her, cut off the water. Reference book of medical sciences. Like a dictionary, this work references in alphabetical order all of all the medical sciences known and practiced in the modern world. For each of the entries, the major works and the names of the reference authorities are listed. out of this medicine I know doctor we sent the purchase order though but mrs. Donovan refused it once again can't you do anything Donovan takes her instructions directly from dr. Fuller 
I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Umo Delicente. This pseudoscientific work by Cesar Lombroso correlates an individual's morphology with his criminal predispositions. The seriousness of this study and the accuracy of the demonstrations can deceive an uninformed reader. Anything in the back? What's this? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Uh, empty shelves. Why would they refuse to order more medicines? I understand he's got his tests that he's made, conducting and but all right the boiler room locked the door to the boiler room is locked where did i see that key ah yes the office in block b to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Well, it's going to make the other nurse's life a little more difficult, but it wouldn't be anything unusual and it would give me the opening I need. Don't mind me. shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Uh, okay. Find a tool. Where can I find a tool? Probably not in one of these offices. Is there a storage room nearby? The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly.
still in here? No, you're not. Yes, there is something in here, isn't there? Can you close this door so no one's watching me, please? Apparently not. There we are. Don't mind me. Okay, let's try again. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. office. Excuse me. Can I just sneak by you real quick? There's not over here. At last. The missing files must be hidden here. His desk, perhaps? No? That's the front door. Where? Ah. The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This Study. is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Study of the Stendhal Stendhal syndrome, a particularly rare mental illness. Subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure of works of art. Really? Interesting. I don't see much of anything here. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Well. I've unlocked something. Uh -huh. Tara Hawkins interview. Patient files, I was right. The cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. He recorded his thoughts about one of the many phys uh, Psycho psychoanalyst sessions he submitted Sarah Hawkins to. Shit files. I was right. There's nothing else, right? Alright, alright. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls mythos. This finger it belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Illusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Why is Ethan on medication? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? 
first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I'm late that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Hawkins is the connection. The partly burned shoe. It seems like it belonged to Sarah Hawkins. Didn't we find another shoe in the mansion still? Go back to the basement. That was open, actually. where I escaped from before. And I didn't make it out. This was the only door, right? I didn't, uh... Oh! Shit. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to no. discover. No! Oh! No. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Um. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. 
He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Oh, man. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colton. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Very well. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the doctor! Thank you, Drake. It's always good to have another ally.